Hi everyone, welcome to the UIK channel. So yesterday I had interviewed at PwC for the position of Angular developer, and uh, so I want to show you all the questions that they ask. So while the interview was going on, I had uh, like uh, recorded the interview using my phone so that I can like uh, recall all the questions and like uh, and I can like show you them. So after from the recordings i have uh, like prepared a list of all the questions that they asked for the position of angular developer and it's for the position of angular developer uh, for a three years of uh, experience so as per my experience so the interview was like a, a very bit uh, easy uh, but uh, still uh, i will uh, let i'll show you all the questions and i uh, will discuss all the questions one by one so here i have uh, like listed all the questions so let's go to go through this so first uh, firstly what happened was the interview like uh, interviewer asked me if uh, uh, you are uh, like uh, they ask you about about your basic information and all things and then they say that let's start from the html okay but uh, like uh, uh, i have uh, something uh, softball down the some of the questions but like they ask in a way that fast HTML, then CSS, then JavaScript, and then Angular. This is the way that uh, how they asked. So okay, so let's uh, jump to the questions. So around uh, they had asked me uh, thirty questions. Uh, uh, okay, so most of them are basic. Uh, so let's see. So what does uh, first? This is the CSS question. What does box sizing border box do? So in CSS we have a property of box sizing border box. So what that that does? So actually, uh, if you have uh, like uh, specific that property box sizing border box uh, so what happens is the paddings and the borders all are included in the width and height like if you are specifying some width to it this much pixel and some height to this much pixel and but and if you are specifying this property box sizing equals to border box then what will happen that uh, the width uh, sorry the border and the padding will be included in that pixel okay and uh, for, uh, uh, what you need to do so using this box border and uh, some uh, CSS properties like this you need to also cross up and discuss before the interview. So then what is the embedded tag in HTML and what it does? So uh, you know like HTML uh, image tag, video tag, audio tag, all of the, uh, that right. But uh, what the embedded tag does like it's uh, to show an external resource. For example, image is also an external resource and we are showing that in our file, okay. The video is also showing that in our file, uh, but uh, in embedded, you can like embedded anything, let me show you. Embed tag in HTML, if you go to the W3 skulls, see, uh, using embed tag, you can embed image, you can embed HTML page, you can embed a video, let, uh, let me show you how this looks like, see. In embed, you can show that the type is uh, image and then the source. And then also you can embed a HTML page. See, here's the outer HTML page of statement.html, and then you can also specify type of text or HTML and then with right. And similarly for the video as well. Okay. See, the type is video or OEM and then such is the, uh, the your resource. Okay. So that was it. Uh, how do you write less code in CSS? Uh, okay, so before that, they asked me, uh, Have you worked on any CSS preprocessors? Pre pre I said, uh, Yes, uh, I have worked on like uh, CSS, SSS, and S. And then they asked this in text, like, How we write less in, the, in this CSS? So if you are comfortable that you have written code in less, you can say that this is how I write, or if you are. Yeah, if you have never worked on less, you can say that yes, I have worked on only SSS or something like that. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Then the next question is uh, what is block element and line element in HTML? Uh, so, a block element is something uh, that, uh, for example, okay, I have uh, actually described here uh, for you. So, to uh, come on, uh, the block elements are uh, P, D, something like that. For example, it has two blocks, it starts with a P, then you can write something behind or something, and then you can close it. Okay, so this is the block, block element. And when considering line element, line element is something that starts and ends with a line. So for example, spawn. Okay, so this question is covered. Then let's jump to the next question. Use of meta tag in HTML and what properties you can pass to the meta tag. Uh, so first of all, uh, meta. Uh, what is a meta tag? Meta tag. 
when uh, when you are talking about meta tag, it's about uh, like passing the information about the uh, data we have. Uh, and now the keywords uh, we have like a name. For example, if you have a HTML sheet, you can pass uh, the name like name equals description, name equal to uh, what is the description about that application, the keywords that you want to like rank on search engine, the search engine keywords, the author view code. So these are the uh, keywords, author view codes, these are the uh, properties okay, for the meta tag. And then uh, what is meta tag? You can say that uh, this is a tag that uh, we use to pass some information about our project and uh, this information are passing for the search engines uh, so that the crawlers uh, can crawl them okay so this is also not covered how can you pass data uh, okay okay how can you pass data and how you can set content type of video tag so when you are saying that a video tag how you can pass data so there is a search for that okay, let me show you video tag in this channel uh, so that i can explain the question here see so when this is a video tag, the question was how you can pass data. So there is a source, and source there is a search attribute and this is how you can pass the data. This is the first question and the second question was how you can specify the type of the, the type of the file. So here it is the type equals to video editor, type equals to video OGG, you can specify the type here as well. So this was the question. Then five pseudo classes, you, you know these pseudo classes in uh, CSS like uh, before, after, under. This one. Oh, CSS. Uh, link, visitor, hover. Okay. These are the pseudo classes that we have uh, in the CSS. So, this was the question. Difference between local storage and session storage. So, this is a like, very simple thing. So, local storage is uh, like uh, going to persist there for, uh, in your uh, in your browser storage and session storage is for uh, session only if you close that tab uh, that session storage goes away and like uh, you have to show them a huge cases like in, in which scenario you you could use local storage and session storage okay then they ask me about uh, like what is the css combinators so combinator is something when you combine something like uh, something like the div the so here you combine div it means that a particular target if you have a div tag uh, inside that you have a view tag so you are targeting to this view tag using this syntax so these are called the, uh, this thing is called as CSS combinators and then okay so this is for you so you should also learn the combinators like uh, what, is, uh, what is this uh, the uh, everything inside that see if you are writing like this, so all the divisions and all the keys uh, will be selected, these are all the keys inside the division, but this is the most specific one to that key inside that division. Okay? So that, that was it. Then how to align items at the end of the text box. So if you have a text box and uh, yeah, text box is uh, something to show the items in a row and uh, the question was, uh, let's say, let me show you. Uh, maybe this is a flex box okay so this is the flex box uh, these are two the items and the question was if there is only one item how you can align that items at the end of this screen it means that if this item is not there still this is going to stay at the end of this end of this row so how you should achieve that so you should you should read up the flex box properties and align items so these two are of that okay then uh, the next question was what is the syntax of the box shadow so in CSS we have a box shadow so it was about that let me show you CSS box shadow okay. see box shadow so like uh, on horizontally how much box shadow you want and on vertical so you can specify them the colors are done okay. so this was all about that okay. so this was then you came to javascript so what is the type of null what is the type you know the type of operator so there is a type of operator that gives us the type of of the a variable. Uh, let me show you. See, uh, if you are passing type of forty two, so forty two is a number, so it will return you the number. Okay, so if you string, it will return the string. So the question was, what will, uh, what was, what will be the type of null and type of only? Okay. So you could read this uh, the aspect as well for the preparation. Uh, okay, <coughs> and then why we use JavaScript call apply? And also at the same time you can 
read the pipe as well okay so so this is actually vast topics are to cover in this video so it's like if you have a function you can change the context or this or that, that function and you can reuse that function so that's the basic use uh, for uh, this uh, you can uh, like uh, search for i will recommend you to uh, look the akshay science uh, javascript namaste javascript series for that uh, for this kind of concept like for our hosting and closure also so he has explained everything very clearly then uh, how to add element at the start okay so in, uh, if you have an array there's a, there's a very simple question if you have an array then how can you add element at the start of a start of the array and end of a uh, like end of a array and then how you can remove from the start and remove from the end so like if you are uh, when considering the, about pushing at the start you can say that on shift and removing at the start you can say that uh, shift and the pushing at the end is uh, the push from the javascript and uh, the removing at the end is the pop so that's what the interview expects okay and then slice versus slice the first slice versus slice uh, preparation you can watch a hitesh choudhury video so that's perfect uh, as per my suggestion but still i will explain you a bit here see when you are saying that slice okay s l i c e slice think it of like uh, like cutting a cake so if you cut a cake and you took a slice of it okay so what will happen if you cut a cake you cannot pass a single parameter or you cannot pass a single element so you have to cut at two ends correct so a slice so you can say that a slice always accepts two like two ends slice okay so if you have this array that's why this is the array and you want to cut two slice over it you have to always at least pass two you have to pass two arguments because uh, so consider thinking of a cake again so if you are cutting at one place you cannot like uh, uh, extract a piece from it right you have to pass the start and end so let's say the start is from here let's say one and the end is let's say two okay so what will happen is when this is this will slice this and here two things to remember one thing is you have to pass two arguments and the second thing is the first one is inclusive and the second one is exclusive but this uh, what this means if uh, this means that if this is the one then the one index so which is 31 so this should be included okay so this will be included in the output and what will happen that that uh, the second is always exclusive it means that if you have suspending to 0 1 2 it is exclude that and it will come back to this only so the only thing this slice here will bring you is 33 but my point so if i could have specified 3 here so 0 1 2 3 then it will it, it is exclusive it will leave that and then it will come here so the output will be 33 and 4 getting my point this is slice of this slice slice is also like a very very different parts so it can take up to three argument okay remember it but one is better the first argument is index then is count then is uh, insert for example for example if in this array i uh, let's say i have a slice slice it in this array if i want to remove the element from the one index i will say i say slice 0 1 what it will do does uh, sorry uh, from one index we make room now one one so what it will do, do is uh, it will check the index one in this array the one index is 33 and from that index it will remove how many, many count one count so it will remove 33 from this okay that my point this two if you are specifying these two only then it will remove uh, from that index and like how many count to remove okay and if you are like only specifying a index it will remove that one uh, uh, from that i'm not sure uh, i have forgotten that uh, i have to check and look at okay and what you said is like if you have specified that uh, from this index you are you don't want to remove anything so that let's pass it as zero and then if you have to insert something if you are you will pass that number let me show you maybe one then let's say zero we don't want to remove anything then five 
So what it will do is from one index, one index is this one, this will not remove anything but it will insert 5. So at one index is this one, here it will insert 5. This will be that one. So that was all about slice, muscle slice. Syntax of mixins. So syntax of mixins, you know, CSS mixins starts with other mixins. So if you want me to so uh, do a separate video on mixins, what is mixins and how you can use it, uh, let me know. Uh, but uh, as a very let me tell you that mixin is something that we uh, use. Uh, if we have some like common CSS course that we can be uh, used through through some throughout maybe uh, uh, between two or three classes, so we can uh, make a common code for that and. We call that makes sense and then we have the basic things like the syntax of lazy loading how you can set our automated components in angular what is the host property you can say here the host binding and the host listener why we need observables difference between constructor ng or in it and how you can get data from the url in angular you can even say about the activity and all okay so that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching